On this clip, we are going to break down a goal by the Edmonton Oilers, and you're going to recognize that a lack of communication between two players on the Calgary Flames allows Edmonton to enter the zone uncontested and eventually end up with a scoring chance and a goal. So as we roll this clip, you're going to recognize that Calgary is going for a line change right here. So they got a couple guys that are getting off the ice, a couple guys getting on the ice. So it's already a little bit of a crazy situation where you're going to have to communicate and sort things out. So Matt Benning has the puck and he's coming up the ice. And here are the two defenders that I really want you to watch. And as Benning comes up, this is a pretty prime situation right now where there's not great support between these two Edmonton Oilers players and it should be a good option for these two on the Flames to really cut these guys off at the blue line and force a dump. But again, what you're not seeing is you're not seeing any pointing, you're not seeing any communication, any scans or heads on a swivel between the two guys on the Calgary Flames as we rewind this and as we get going here. Again, not great support between McDavid and Matt Benning bringing the puck up. They're basically standing right next to each other. But you see the Calgary defenseman, a little bit of a bad gap. And you don't know what he's thinking right now. Because if I'm the Calgary defenseman, I might be thinking that because there is very little support between these two players right here, this forward can cut them off right here, which would force a dump inside the zone. And now this player is, again, he's not really gapped up, but it could be because he's thinking that, he's going to, that the two players are going to get cut off at the blue line, and now I'm in a better position to go retrieve the puck, and I can get back there faster. But as we get the clip going, again, you see this forward for Calgary doesn't really pinch off like this defenseman probably thinks he's going to do, and now he is in a terrible gap right here with the best player or might be the best player in the world right here as well. So we'll keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Again, I'm not sure why this forward doesn't angle with his stick down on the ice and just cut him off right there, which again allows Hannafin, the defenseman, to get whatever type of turnover or whatever type of dump happens down in the corner. Now Hannafin has a bad gap, and as we continue to let it go, he doesn't play this very well where he gets his stick out in the outside lane, allowing Benning the chance to cut into this area. Again, he has his toes pointed back this way, probably because he was thinking about going to get the retrieval. And now what you see is Benning brings that puck to the inside. Again, not a very good stick by Hannafin, being all the way on the outside. And now Benning comes in and gets the goal. So as we rewind this again, Big lack of communication as we move forward between these two players. Uh, this should be an easy trap right in this area to uh, make the Oilers players dump the puck in. But again, here we go. Here we go. Again, another thing that has to be talked about. This is Connor McDavid. So this forward might be thinking, I just need to make sure I get Connor McDavid. But there's no communication between him and his defenseman, which... Now everybody looks kind of bad and allows Benning to come in for the goal. So that communication between Ford and D, specifically when things are in uncharted territories, a little bit of an unknown situation coming off from a change, that communication has to happen. And this is a great clip to talk about why it's so important on the back check.